What if I told you that the animals that are killed for you to eat end up killing you? This is what people love to eat, chickens. People love to eat this. Um, well, uh, a scientific study just happened and it says that these chickens that have been bred to get bigger and bigger over the years to make more money I mean obviously the more meat a chicken has the more money the farmer or or uh, whoever is selling the meat can make look at this 1957 look how small the chicken is 1978 a lot fatter 2005 it's freaking huge so all these articles came out about this scientific study saying that there's a virus in chickens that could be linked to obesity. The strain doctor discovers mysterious chicken virus that may cause obesity. And there's even a name for it. Infectobesity. Infectobesity. <laughs> I guess they just put infect and obesity together um, to come up with the word but it's talking about infectious origin and the emerging field of medical research that studies the relationship between pathogens, disease-causing organisms, such as viruses and bacteria, and weight gain. The term was coined in 2001 by this doctor, Nick Hill Durandar, at the Pennington Biomedical Research Center. So this is just another interesting thing. I mean, vegans, you know, don't eat meat, obviously. But uh, when this stuff comes out, you know, it makes me feel even better that I don't eat meat. Man, this thing keeps popping up. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. I guess there's a new field of study. Not new, but relatively new. Um, where they study how... Uh, pathogens cause weight gain um, but yeah so we got this here and it says Ob obesity due to a virus how this changes the game and they say you know a lot of physicians will say obesity is a disease but many people don't believe it and the government and insurance companies do not want to admit that obesity is a disease because then they would have to cover treatment as they do for other diseases so So there, there it is again, another money game. They don't want to have to cover it as a disease. They want to say um, it has to do with lifestyle, which it does have a lot to do with lifestyle, but, but, but this can you know make a difference as well. So it says obesity emerges as an epidemic, and how you know how did obesity all of a sudden become a problem? Why suddenly around 1980 the prevalence of obesity began to skyrocket? at a rate 10 times faster from 60 to 80 and it began to skyrocket all around the world in rich and poor countries alike so it's not like you know the US has a better economy than these other places and the US you know started gaining weight it's happening around the world it says obviously fast food sodas TV computers all these um, caused cause the obesity epidemic but poor countries like Paraguay and Panama do not have these luxuries and they still have a higher rate of obesity than we do so it says something must have changed in the environment over a very short period of time and an inf infection can do that so th this is I guess this is the virus that uh, they're talking about adenovirus 36 a human common cold that is easily caught from an effect infected person who is coughing or sneezing so at least one third of people affected by obesity have been infected and multiple investigators all around the world have started to work on this virus wow that is really crazy pretty interesting it said they you know they've done a lot of experiments monkeys which I don't agree with um, you know doing experiments on animals uh, but I guess this will help 
overweight people. These monkeys were not deliberately infected, but all became, 15 became naturally infected through the seven years. Body weight was stable before infection, but once they tested positive for ad 36, they started to gain weight. The investigators speculated that their human handlers became infected and brought in the virus. Infected animals did not eat more and did not do less exercise, but they still gained weight. Wow, that's interesting. I mean, you know, apparently I don't have it <laughs> because I don't really gain weight. Or maybe there are people who are just immune to it, so... Very interesting. So it's just testing in humans. How contagious is it? Um, the question, can I catch obesity from a person affected by it? The answer is that it, it is very unlikely to be able to catch obesity from a person who has become inf affected by obesity due to the virus. The difference in metabolic rate is small. So it takes quite some time to gain large amounts of weight. Man, so people who are really thin, you know, probably want to have this virus but I don't I definitely don't so what if I am infected um, the bad news is that at the present time there are no specific treatments for ADV 36 if you are already infected by obesity the usual problem problems of losing weight and keeping it off will apply the good news is that if you are currently not affected by obesity it is a lot le easier to prevent obesity than to treat it um, yeah, I mean, I've, I, I, I read that um, fat cells are nearly impossible to get rid of, but they duplicate so easily and quickly, and that's why its parents do such a disservice to their kids when they um, overfeed them, because as a kid, if they gain all these fat cells and they split, 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 then they're just putting a burden on their child because their child it's going to be very, very difficult to lose those uh, fat cells because it doesn't take any energy or nearly no energy to keep a fat cell. But they split really quick. So, so yeah, it is, it is very difficult. It's a lot more difficult to get rid of it than it is to gain it. So basically it's saying the virus in chicken. And obviously, you know, well, it seems like that they knew uh, what was causing these chickens to gain weight and they purposely wanted them to gain weight because uh, like I said earlier um, they could make more money um, so now it's been transferred to humans that's what these articles are saying and science and these scientists and people are you know overweight so it's just another good reason why you shouldn't eat meat, why um, you shouldn't eat animal products at all. Stuff like this, you know, saturated flat, fat, cholesterol, this ADV, what is it, ADV 36, ADV 36, adenovirus 36, um, infect obesity, infect obesity, that's such a weird name, but that's what they named it. But yeah, so anyway, I just thought that was interesting um, and another reason why people should stay away from animal products because <laughs> they're pumping them full of so much crazy stuff. I mean, I gave up dairy what, 2000. Wow, after this, <laughs> around 2006, 2005, 2006, I gave up dairy and then I gave up beef shortly after and I did eat chicken I did eat a lot of chicken and this I just recently gave it up you know last year 2016 um, early in the year of 2016 so yeah I just think it's so much more better so much healthier more energy and you're not getting all these all these things that are being pumped into the animals that we eat they say the animals that are killed for us to eat end up killing us. So, interesting quote. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.